What's going on guys? Welcome back to Total War Saga Thrones of Britannia. In the previous video, we took the, I guess, city of Grentbrug, uh, thereby taking all of Grentbrug's cities, settlements, outposts, whatever. Um, the only thing they have left is one little army, um, which is very weak. So now, all we gotta do is take out that army, they're gonna be out of the game. Which is good, for me. Uh, we want to repair something to Albanus as well. We took that a, a while ago. It got attacked. We want to fix it up right now, so we'll get to that. Um, after that, we want to fix up our public order a little bit, and then maybe see if we want to take more of East Angle's uh, territory, because there is still some of it out there. I'm sure it's going to be pretty good. And we don't really want the, uh, the Viking faction to just take everything, because if they do, we're gonna have to take it back later, because we already know that they're gonna be jerks, right? They're going to be very, very annoying and uh, get in my way, so to speak. So, there you go. Uh, let's see, I kinda wanna set a new war coordination effort target thing. Um, probably, let's see, I'm thinking up here, or maybe even here. I feel like we want to take this back from the enemy. Like, they're taking territory from Mirke, and we want to take that back for them. So probably go to, like, Stefford or Tim Wartiga. Let's do that. Because we really don't need any more help, I think, from allies. Like, we need them to start doing stuff. Also, London got taken by Kent, uh, which is annoying, because I wanted it for myself. Kent was like, no, I like a piece of that, so we're... You know, I don't like that. Specifically because there's no way... There's no way for me uh, to get anything from them. There's no... I can't get their territory. I can't integrate them into my empire. Uh, so it's annoying. Not the end of the world. You know, it's fine. They're a little bit stronger now. We'll see how it plays out. Who knows, at some point they might even rebel, and then we can take it back. Problem solved. Just, you know, make people angry enough so that they, they do something back. So raise taxes a huge amount, they'll get angry, then you say, hey, why are you angry? I'm gonna take all your stuff now, and that's basically that. Alright, so that was actually a pretty good move, that happened really quickly, but Kent, I believe, uh, helped us out a little bit by driving an army away. And this looks like it might be more of Mirka's territory, which is going to be taken by whoever this is, something Borg. Why am I here? Difflin goes over the top. One of the Irish long forts has fallen to local forces, which is welcome news. Typically, Difflin overreacts, forcing every other Viking faction in Eriu to become their vassals. You hope and pray this will not be enough, and the loss of their stronghold is the beginning of the end for the Vikings in Ireland. All minor Viking-seeking factions will become vassals of Divlin. Oh. Oh, that's pretty powerful. Uh, okay. This guy's low loyalty. It's at two. So annoying. Why does this keep happening to me? Listen, buddy. I'm gonna need you to be loyal. There you go. Didn't have to do much. Didn't even have to torture him or... Kill his wife or anything like that. He's just completely on board. Which is just great. Um, I definitely want to try and unlock the, um, the special axemen and thanes, so I'm actually gonna just go straight for that. After that, I'll probably go for the shields, but for now, trained fighter sounds good. Uh, widespread knowledge of advanced training techniques for sword fighting and axe combat has forged soldiers of sufficient skill. Sending out word of the need for these learned warriors will ready them for the call to battle. So, sounds good. Let's do it. Let's go for that. Alfred. Went up a level. I kind of like the movement for him. Like a quartermaster would be good. And then Athelhelm is our new guy. Uh, he might. We might want to get him some loyalty for sure. Like, let's just get that up a bit. Like, I really don't want to deal with any rebels ever for whatever reason. I just don't want to do it. Oh, these guys are, are like a really small army now. They can't reach Grant Grantburg. Can we attack them? The men have for this. It looks like we might be able to attack them here. Yeah, and they're running for it. Downside is we can't reach them this turn with this army. 
but now hopefully Kent can get to him. Let's see, Grant Brook. Okay, so we can upgrade one of these things. I'm thinking anything that will get me a bigger garrison would be great. So market is definitely a good idea. It'll take forever, but it's going to be worth it because we, there's always a chance that you lose the stuff that you took. And we do not want that to happen. So there we go. Then this army is basically done here. There's nothing really to fight anymore. And they're just basically uh, replenishing their troops. We're going to just walk out here. Because we want to get on our way over there as well, help out a bit. Maybe even take some of Mirka's territory again, because it looks like, well, okay, it looks like they're trying to do something now. There is a Lataborgian army uh, within their borders that they have to uh, beat back, so we'll see how that goes. Let's just see what this remaining army of Grantabru will do. I really just want that faction to be gone. They're very annoying, they're my enemy, don't like my enemies. I say get them out. Get, send them home. Looks like they're dead. Okay. Stock is now gone. Yeah, Mirk is losing a lot of territory. On the bright side, if they lose enough, they might be willing to become my vassal. So that's something. Oh, there's the Nortman. Okay, so we destroyed Grant Brew. One of your armies has run out. Yep, out of supplies, I am aware. It's going to be uh, the army down here. The men are ready to serve. Because we're in foreign soil. Go to Herdford. There we go. Your army suffers in the miserable conditions in which they find themselves. Move them on or more men will fall to the elements. Wait, your troops are deserting because you can no longer sustain them. Okay, that's because of the supplies. So we got to get supplies, basically. The men are ready to serve. Is all we can really do. Okay, so this guy really needs to get an actual army going. He's, he currently has absolutely nothing. So let's get two spears. Uh, let's get... Oh, we can get royal thanes as well. Let's just get a normal warrior. Let's get an archer. Like, we don't want to take this too far, right? Because we're already going to be paying a lot of money. And food. So two archers. Let's get one then and a skirmisher. And just call it quits there for now. But this will be a new army, so it's going to be pretty sweet. Edwin has low loyalty. What is your problem? I can't actually... Oh, actually, yeah, okay. Skr loyalty. We could bribe him with words. We can leave it. I wish I could pay the bribe. I really don't want to lose influence. We await your Although I guess we can get influence somewhere else later. Okay, let's bribe him for now with words. Taking attrition, which sucks, but okay. We're not fighting these guys. We're fighting those guys. They have a small army there. Uh, we're pretty high in terms of supplies, so let's get back to Grentabrook. We don't want to lose it. So just make sure we're there. And then we'll fight these guys back a bit. I'm not sure how much war there will be with them. I'm also not really sure what, um, let's see, these guys are going to do. Four's Hammer, they are the uh, Nordman Vikings. We are technically at war, and I'm a little bit little bit scared of them. Because we have no armies in the area to actually uh, stop them. I was hoping that they would be somewhat friendly, like the, the Viking faction, or the Viking faction, because they are, um, they were pretty friendly from the get-go, so it's pretty bad. All right, also not really sure how we're going to get more supplies for this army, but I'm sure we'll figure something out. So you're recruiting. So it says we have 25 out of 26 levy units. Well, we got 14 here, 14 there, 8 there. There's 20... Wait, 28... Wait, that doesn't make sense. Like, we're way over 25. So how's that number calculated? Honestly, I don't know. It's weird. It doesn't make sense to me. Okay, so Mirka want me to join their war against Gwynedd. This and uh, Poes. But this is an offer. They're just asking for it. You know what? I'm not going to join you in fighting literally everyone, okay? I'm... 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hope you don't- you won't break our alliance, that would be annoying, but, um... I would definitely prefer not to, uh, to deal with this right now. Because we're still war, like, three or four different factions. Why would I want to add another three to that number? You, Dumbo. What are they doing? Oh, the Nordmen seem to be going for us. The West Moringas have been destroyed. We got some attrition, which sucks. Uh, war fervor has increased. Interesting. It's mostly lowered by border wars. Alright, so I'm just gonna need you in uh, Grant Brew. Get supplies, get um, other stuff. This army has... Oh, that's not my army at all. This army. Okay, replenishing. Okay, we're starting to get some supplies, which is great. Let's see if we can maybe do something in Herod Ford to make it better. This seems pretty strong. Let's do that. And we can get one more building. We like bride port. Let's get some. Let's get some pottery gone. All right, there we are. So we're currently not going to be fighting because I really don't want to. I'm just trying to replenish, get supplies, make sure everybody is like fresh and ready to go. Because otherwise, we're going to be taking attrition, which is obviously really bad. How are you going to fight a war if your soldiers can't even eat? Personally, I think cannibalism is always an option. You know, I know it's like a... It's a bit of a taboo, but I think it's fine. Just go for it. It's healthy, you know. I grow ever stronger. Rightful inheritance. The king of Mirka is dead, and with his passing we should have inherited th the throne. However, they've been suspiciously quiet and they still remain independent. This is unacceptable. I'm demanding that throne. You better believe it. You better believe it. Vassal Kingdom established. Oh, baby. We got him now. That's actually really nice. Are they still going to be at war with those other people? Either way, this is great, though. I love it. Uh, Edwin, low loyalty. We could try and adopt one of their children. This will increase their loyalty, but decrease that of your current adult sons. I don't have any. Uh, wait, we can adopt him personally or what? Character adopted. Money, it seems, is the object of desire, more so than loyalty to you. This man asks for more, so properly guarantee a smooth to properly guarantee a smooth transition. A sub external Okay, well let's do it. That's good for his loyalty. So, I guess because of that, yeah, okay, adopted into the ruling family. It seems good. Sure. I don't really know how he even inherited the, um, the throne of this other place, but, you know, I love it. I love it. We finally got him. Athelhelm. So, this is our newest general. Uh, he's decently loyal, but we could do better. At the same time, I feel like making him better at commanding is going to be more valuable. For now, at least. Like, we can we can deal with loyalty uh, when we get to it. Let's get a scribe. Alright, good. Glastingbury. Let's see, what can we do? Don't know where these guys are going. Probably over there. I feel like these guys should be working together to destroy these Norman Vikings, but they're not doing much at all. Like, they actually haven't contributed during the entire war. We cannot. These deafened guys. Are they even, like, friendly to me still? They are extremely friendly. So I'm not really sure why they decided that they didn't have to be a part of this, uh... The bigger picture, they're defensive. We'll join allies in a war as long as they're worth joining. What about these guys? Are they... Yeah, they're defense as well. Despises the English. Mm -hmm. 
So my act my own vassal absolutely hates me. Let us parley, if we must. But he does hate me. But he knows that if he tries to rebel, he's going to be in trouble. All right. So it makes a lot of sense why they haven't joined me. For some reason, it seemed like just you know buggy AI or them not liking me. But not in the literal sense. Okay, um... We want to upgrade Sancti for sure. Alright, so you're getting ready. You're starting to get there, which is great. This guy's still getting some supplies. It's a pretty big army. I feel like this one might want to do with some uh, reinforcements, so... We build up a little bit. What we still need, though, is cavalry. So we're going to do that for now. Which is pretty much all we can do. Basically spending all of our money on these uh, Thens. But let's do it. Cavalry is a good thing, and you do want it in your life. Uh, these guys could potentially attack for sure. But we've got a pretty big rebel army here. Wait, why are they a rebel army? English rebels. How did they take this? How did that even happen? Well, I don't want to march out there and have them sort of go around me and then go for Grantbrook, so we'll... We'll just take it slow. Like, this settlement doesn't have walls, I believe. It does have a bit of a garrison, but no walls, so... Let's not do this straight away. We could go to Wigingamire. How are you even say Wigingamire. Wigingamire. I don't know. Alright, let's just let's leave it out of here uh, for now. I don't want to make any decisions that will bite me in the ass. Wait, what is... Okay, hold up. I want to check this out in a sec. Hellerborg. There's so many factions. Oh, they took that. Took that settlement. Abundant harvest. God has blessed the fields with great fertility this season. Our farmers are reporting a great harvest for the next year. So we're getting plus three stability and a lot more supplies, which is great. Uh, Champion of the Saints. What is that? Seems rude, but okay. We met Steinborg. War was declared by Northumber on Hellerborg. Uh, Alfred is now telling it with a bow. This man spent much of his childhood hunting, which has made him rather effective no matter the quarry. Gained from the hunting building chain. Great, okay. Trained fighters. Widespread knowledge of advanced training techniques for sword fighting in X combat as forged soldiers. Okay, we already read this. Great, though. That's very good. I'm going to go with the defensive tactics now, unless... Oh, we can go on industry as well. It allows us to make tool makers. Tools are vital for progress, but their manufacture requires a solid understanding of metallurgy. Acquiring or improving blacksmith facilities will advance their knowledge sufficiently to develop tool makers. Uh, construction costs for villages and secondary slot buildings is down. Then we got road development is more expensive or just more road development. Okay. Um, basically, construction costs more money. Plus five enemy supplies. Minor diplomatic bonus towards all their factions, emissaries. Okay. Interesting one. I think I kind of just want to go with defensive tactics for now. Just because that helps, really helps me out in battle. Um, F-Wald. Alright, so this guy earned another level. He's already pretty high. Let's make sure he stays loyal. Then we got Edwin again. Edwin with the loyalty, who we adopted. Well, he's a governor, so let's make him better at governing. It only makes sense, right? So, what is, um, Maldun? Who is this? More English rebels. It looks like the, the Viking faction is getting their asses kicked for some reason. They're completely almost gone now. This is so weird. This is so strange. Alright, so this army is in really good condition. Let's go over there. There will probably be less supplies over here, but we're gonna be closer to the action. These... I, I don't like this army on my doorstep, and they're taking a lot of attrition. They might be planning to do something that I don't like them to do, so... Let's be really careful here. 
Uh, let's see. Levy Spear. We have no axes. I feel like getting some axes might be pretty good. What's that little flag? Disciplined. They are raiders. May set buildings on fire. Cause more fire damage with torches and capture faster than other units. They can hide in the forest. They got the wedge formation. All right. So, oh, I already have these upgraded. Okay, so my swordsmen are going to be, like, way more powerful then already. Much higher melee skill. Chance to hit the enemy and also block their attacks. All right. So these are sort of the sword warriors are definitely strongest. Okay, so I'm going to get one more of those. See, the number didn't go up. So what does this mean? Honestly, I don't even know. I just don't get it. Uh, maybe we should get, like, this is our, sort of our royal army, right? This Alfred himself, I feel like what he needs is, like, elite units. So we're gonna get some royal fens. And we're just gonna leave it at that for now. Uh, Grentbrook. I like the idea of getting a granary. It'll cost me money, but it does give me more replenishment, more food, and, like, a lot more food, more supplies. Siege holdout time will go up. And there will be more, it will take longer for us to take attrition when we defend, which is pretty good. So I'll build that. Oh, good. Alright, so you have your orders. You're going to stay here and sort of heal up. These guys are actually ready, but I'm just a little bit worried that if I... Mm, they can't reach this right now. We could move and engage the uh, the rebels here. It's not a terrible idea. Just get that enemy off our doorstep, which would really mean that our only enemies would be up in the north, pretty far away, and then a few more uh, to the east. And that's going to be pretty much everything. So it, it's, it might not be a bad idea. I'm just a little bit worried that they might have a garrison. You know what? Let's find out. We are ready to, for battle. We are ready to for battle. Um, all right, so we can besiege them. They're going to run out of supplies in only two turns, whereas we have way more. They have no barricades. And I think they'll just surrender in three. That's what that means, right? Turns until the settlement surrenders, so we wouldn't even have to fight if we do this. Let's force them to meet us out in the field. We will, we will just besiege them. And then we know that we are going to fight them pretty soon. Okay, I'm still a little bit uh, weary around the uh, Viking faction. Seem friendly enough. But not anymore. They don't like me that much anymore because I trespassed a little bit. Oh no. They also don't like my diplomatic marriage with Mirka and just the fact that I got my hands on him. Alright. So we might be looking at a battle, but they only have one army, which is severely weakened. And they only have one actual settlement. So if we we take that now, if, they, if these guys don't, you know, uh, we take it and we kill this army and they're going to be gone. So we are securing a lot of land. I'm also still a little bit worried about these guys, but we'll just, uh, not those guys, uh, these guys. So we're just gonna have to wait and see how that goes. Um, anyway, I'm actually gonna leave it here for now, guys. In the next part, we will take, uh, Huntunden, Probably fight off some East Angle armies again. And, uh, try to take more territory here. It's like, our only mission at this point is to take them out. So it would make sense. Um, also, we're already really close to a short kingdom victory, which is... Kind of weird. Stefford Skir. So this province, which we're already at war with, we take that, we got the, uh, the short kingdom victory. Which I don't know what that means, but I guess that technically means that I win? No idea, we'll find out. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider leaving a like, and I'll talk to you again real soon in the next part.